Assalamu alaikum. My brothers and sisters, fans, another message from Hargeza, Somaliland. Two days ago in the Gambia, a baby girl bled to death from what was supposed to have been circumcision, but which turned out to be female genital mutilation. Alhamdulillah, they were charged. The parents of the baby was ch were charged. They had committed a crime because female genital mutilation in the Gambia is outlawed. It's become a, cl a crime. And this practice persists in many, I shouldn't say really many, but in a few Muslim countries for which Muslims all over the world are blamed. And the practice needs to be eradicated. Yes, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu did approve. He did approve of female circumcision in Medina when it was presented to him, but he limited it to only a nick, a nick which would not affect the woman's ability to enjoy the blessing of sexual relations in marriage any more than it would affect a male when he is circumcised. This is what Islam has permitted. Prophet Muhammad did not recommend it. The narrations which claim that it's obligatory for males and it's an honor for females. It's not authentic. These are not authentic. Prophet Muhammad didn't practice it himself. His wife Aisha wasn't circumcised. Nor was his daughter Fatima. Nor was his wife Khadija. So let us set this right. It's time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.